Well, for all of us who watched the rescues over the last 24 hours, what we've witnessed is simply breathtaking. So many moments that literally would send chills down uh, the, my spine, everyone's. 33 men who appeared doomed two months ago are safe tonight. Each man was pulled out of the shaft like a rebirth, as uh, Carl, uh, Carl Penhall was pointing out. Tom Foreman takes a look back at the last 24 hours from the most remarkable moments. <laughs> Mario Sepulveda rose out of the earth, hugged his wife, then embraced his whole country. I was with God and the devil, he said. God won. The long night ended for the youngest miner, Jimmy Sanchez, 19. For the only foreigner, Bolivian Carlos Mamani. And for Jose Ojedo, who wrote the note that told everyone we're alive. At 63, Mario Gomez, the oldest, was the first freed in the new dawn. He kissed his wife and prayed. So did others. Esteban Rojas, trapped with two cousins, asked his wife to renew their wedding vows while below. She said yes. Edison Pena led sing-alongs of Elvis songs underground. <laughs> Ariel Ticona's wife had a baby while he was below. Victor Zamora and his wife are expecting one. I hope this new life ahead of you is happy, the Chilean president told him. So it went around the clock. <laughs> and finally, the last man, the leader for all the trapped miners, Luis Orzua. You have been an inspiration, he is told. The country is not the same after this. <laughs> Then they sang the Chilean National Anthem, a song of hope, unity, and strength for people who have shown so much of all three. Tom Foreman, CNN.